I pray you guys are doing well this morning. I'm on my way to work. And you have to remember that this life may not have in the physical a squad that, that could cheer you on in Christ. There's going to be a lot of days that the devil is in your face because he's laughing because he knows that you, you don't know how to pray him off just yet. And you got to get hooked on with some people that has knowledge of God. You know, life is all about knowledge and it's all about fighting to know the truth. Whether if somebody's hidden something from you before in your life, your mother lied to you, kept a secret that your dad really wasn't your dad. People go through all these things and people's lives that seem perfect and they always got something hidden behind it. And that's what I got on. It's nice. Um, You got to figure life out for yourself. You know, people made you to... Uh, Figure life out for yourself. And they left it up to you. And we get thrown with stuff in life. We get heavy weight and burden to pick through things that people put on us. How many of us go through that? We go through things like that. And it's not fair. And we're like, where is God? Right? Where is God when he takes me through things like that? I'm going to tell you something. You know, I've been married three times in my life. And, um... The greatest person who has got me through every trial, every situation is God. The Lord. God and Savior Christ Jesus has got me through every situation. He's the one. He's my way maker. He's the one that makes me feel good and makes me feel all right. He's the one um, when I feel like life has left me and messed me up. But the devil knew what he was doing when he was trying to cut the, the Lord's spirit off from the earth. He said, Lo, I am with you always until the uh, ends of the earth. But the devil knew that we had to pray mostly to bring uh, God down. He knew what he did, and he knew a lot of people wouldn't have the effort, so he knew that he would gain probably most or some. And I'm pretty sure the devil's been shocked of how many people have fallen into hell. So, you know, the devil is going to feel cocky. He's going to feel intimidated. He's going he's gonna to feel really, really strongly intimidated. He surely is. He surely is. So... You got to make a decision in your walk. What are you going to do? If, if there's no no believers and Christians getting it right but me, am I going to continue to serve God? Am I going to keep myself serving God? No matter how many men pass me up and, and my body is attractive and I'm attracting men and I'm attracting all the wrong men. Hey, I've been there, done that. I attract the wrong men all the time. You know, because I try to keep myself up, look nice. And then I got one side of the fence going, oh, you know, this is worldly, what you're wearing, this and that. And you got the other side of the fence, oh, hey, baby doll. Mm -hmm. And then I got the middle mommy mode. You know what I mean? And I keep it real and humorous with God. I'm not wearing a long church skirt like a like a Jehovah Witness. You know, but I'm just being sarcastic, keeping it real though. But I'm just saying though, you guys got to be blessed out here this morning and always and, and know your ground. Get around people who's going to stop lying to you about Christ. You got to get your mind right. One of the biggest things that you got to protect is your mind. Got to wear this to work. One of the biggest things you got to protect in this fight is your mind your mind your mind stop falling for every guy that's telling you that you're beautiful and cute because you got a little nice shape you know how many times guys have told me that and i fallen for it how many times after I learned throughout the years I rejected it and I felt so bad for doing it but I knew I had to raise the bar for uh, having morals to myself yeah it hurt when you're sitting there and when before I was married and my body is, is raging and going raging, raging, raging all the times that I held out all the times that I held out. Mm hmm Get into some Bible study. If you can't and you feel like you can't pick up the Bible by yourself, get attached to somebody. God knows how weak you can be and how you are. Get attached to somebody. We read uh, Solomon last night. We're reading uh, Elijah and Elisha tonight. Uh, please get with us and have Bible study. Please prayer with fellowship. And this is how it's supposed to be in God. God is looking for some mature people who just want to love, who ain't being hateful, who ain't being gossip uh, towards one another. And God is going to bless us for being loving. He's going to give us his spirit for being loving. His, 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 his presence is going to come down because we are trying to fellowship and not be like the other Christians of the world who are trying to keep things all messed up. You guys be blessed, okay?